So, I recently installed Rising OS GSI ROM on my Xiaomi Mi phone and honestly, it's been amazing. It's a gaming ROM that runs perfectly on my phone, completely free from bloatware and all that unnecessary stuff. Now, here's what makes this interesting. Even though it's a GSI ROM, it still packs all those stock ROM features you'd normally expect. Things like Qualcomm optimizations, Xiao EMI specific features, and tons of customization options. Everything's there for you to explore and tweak however you want, not just for its design and smooth performance. It also pulls off some clever spoofing tricks. Think high FPS in every game, the ability to run banking apps, bypassing play integrity, and even unlocking unlimited Google Photo storage. But what really makes this special is that as a GSI, you can flash it on almost any modern Android device that supports Project Treble. You get that clean, near-stock Android experience with some seriously useful tweaks baked right in. It's honestly one of the best ways to give your phone a complete refresh. All right, before we dive in, make sure you've backed up all your phone's data. Trust me on this one. Now, let's get into the installation process. First things first, we need to enable USB debugging, but to do that, we'll need to unlock developer options on the phone. Head over to your phone settings and find the About Phone section. Once you're there, look for the build number and tap on it seven times in a row. After the seventh tap, you'll see a message pop up saying you're now a developer. Now go back to your main system settings. You'll notice Developer Options has appeared in the menu. Open that up. Inside Developer Options, check if your bootloader is unlocked. If it's not, don't worry. I've got detailed videos on my channel showing exactly how to unlock it. Once you've confirmed that, find USB debugging and turn it on. Okay, next step, open up the Treble Info app. I'll leave the download link in the description so you can install it easily. Once the app is open, tap on the details button in the navigation bar. If it says Project Treble supported, perfect. That means your phone is compatible and you're all set to install the GSI ROM. If it says not supported, you can double check using the image I've attached in the description. After you've confirmed compatibility, tap on the images button in the navigation bar, then click on browse images. This is going to open up a GitHub repository page with a huge collection of GSIROMS. You'll find options for Android 16, 15, and 14. But since we're specifically installing Rising OS today, that's what we'll be downloading. Click the download button and it'll take you to another page. There, select the gap section, then find and open the GSI section. Download the latest version of Rising OS from the list. So I have downloaded GSI, now let's install it. Shut your phone down, then press and hold power and volume down to enter fast boot mode. Once it's in that state, we'll pick things up on the laptop. Open whatever browser you prefer on your computer and search for your device's firmware. For me, that's the Poco F4. In the search results, go to the official website and find your region-specific fastboot firmware. This part's important because the VB meta file only comes in the fastboot firmware package. Download the whole thing. I've actually already downloaded mine earlier, so I'm just going to cancel this download for the video. Once both files have downloaded, we need to extract them. Start by extracting your phone's firmware file. When that's done, open the folder and go to the images directory. You're going to see a bunch of image files in there, but we only need one. The VB meta.image file. Copy that file and put it somewhere easy to find on your computer. Next, extract the GSI ROM file you downloaded Then open up a command prompt window. We're ready to start flashing. 
Connect your phone to your computer with a USB cable and type fastboot devices to make sure everything's connected properly. If your phone shows up, reboot it into fastboot D mode with this command. Fastboot reboot fastboot. Quick note though, not all phones support fastboot D mode. If your phone just restarts normally after this command, that's fine. Just continue using regular fastboot mode instead. Run fastboot devices again to double check the connection. If you see the serial numbers, you're connected and ready to go. Now, type this command, fastboot flash system, and then drag and drop that rising os.image file you extracted straight into the command prompt window. Hit enter. Fair warning, this is going to take a while, let it do its thing. When the flashing finishes, we need to boot back into regular fastboot mode. Use this command, fastboot reboot bootloader. We're doing this because we still need to flash that VB meta file. Once your phone's back in normal fastboot mode, verify the connection again. If the serial number shows up, we're good. Now, flash the VB meta file with this command, fastboot flash VB meta then drag and drop the vbmeta.image file into the command prompt and hit enter. If that flashed successfully, reboot your phone into the system with this command, fastboot reboot. Now, if your phone doesn't boot up properly, like mine didn't at first, don't worry, it happens. We just need to wipe the user data so the phone can boot correctly. Reboot your phone back to fastboot mode, run this command fastboot erase user data and press enter. After that's done, boot your phone back into the system, fastboot reboot, and that's it. Your phone should now boot up successfully with rising OS installed and ready to go. If this video helped you out, hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.